Blessings, beloveds. Hmm, nice to be here with you. So I'm just gonna wait for you to come in and now they're live from my phone so I can see your comments and somehow feel this stronger interaction. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the energies, what is going on energetically right now. So it can assist you like a validation of what you probably are experiencing and hopefully connecting the dots and getting more clarity because we're really undergoing the same kind of energies, clearings, activations and upgrades and um, sometimes we don't see really what is happening from the higher perspective. So hi Bonnie, hi Lydia, good morning, nice to see you everyone. We're just gonna wait for more souls to come in here. So, so let's take a couple of breaths and um, through the beautiful breath that we have, the gift of a breath, I hope you all can hear me well, by the way. Can you just write in the comments if you can hear me well? So as we are inviting the breath to move in, we also notice how powerful our breath is and how it can assist us to move into our heart. So through your breathing, connect to your heart and connect into your center column, into zero point. And the more we practice this ability and gift of being able to take two, three breaths to come into center and into our true essence, that really makes us able to be in chaotic experiences and still come into alignment, into center. So as you're breathing now and coming into contact with your own heart vibration, your true essence, just notice if this is the right timing for you to receive this transmission or if it's better for you to return back and listen to the recording. So as we open this transmission, we also open the space in God's infinite love, light and power and protection. We can also open a shadow vortex transit exit as an exit point for all dead negative disqualified energies that will be released through this transmission to be exited. So we ask for a shadow vortex to be opened. Mm. And we ask for only what is in the highest divine order and harmony for each and every one of us to come in and come through. So, you know guys how, how we've been talking so much about our energy bodies. So we have 12 energy bodies that are connected to our earthly experience here, right? But the four first energy bodies are those that are primarily really affecting our life here on earth. So when we receive information, it goes through the energy bodies and then it comes to the spiritual energy body. Let's say we receive information and we feel that, okay, this is true for me. It comes to our spiritual energy body and then we process it through our mental energy body. And then when it's time, when it's divine time, we process it through our emotional energy body and eventually into our physical energy body. And that's when the embodiment of that truth happens, which means that things that I received 10 years ago, spiritually, has taken me sometimes many, many years to fully embody, which means that we receive so many beautiful teachings. Let's say we come together on the activation. So many of you are gathering with me on we do an activation, let's say we work with the golden dragons, we, we understand the teaching spiritually, and then it takes this integration on this very dense, still earthly level that we're existing in until we like fully have embodied it and living it and understanding it. So for an example, I've been teaching and talking about, you know, psychic attacks, 
entities, imposter spirits for so long and negative programs, right? We do understand this on a spiritual, mental, hopefully level, but to really understand emotionally and physically what is a negative program and how does it affect me fully? What is a psychic attack? What is black magic? And how does imposter spirits operate? When, when those things come through all these layers and we start to understand it, that's when we start to awaken on new levels. So we talk about ascension and many of us would call us ourselves for awakened, right? Hi Paige. So for many of us, we feel, okay, I'm awakened. Yes, we are awake, but there's so many levels yet for us to awake. And for each layer, like it's a hardcore ego death. <laughs> and after that, we move into a new stage of consciousness, awareness and bliss, right? And that's a little bit how it goes. So when we start to understand how attacked we are, that's also when we start to, on completely new levels, um, choose on an everyday basis what we are doing and not doing. We also choose what to clear and how to live our lives. And this will continue on a much higher level this year, which means that we will change even more our diet. We will change even more what we listen to. We will change even more how we meditate, where we meditate, where we go and where we live. We will relocate because you know, the cities and many specific countries are extremely attacked. And for us that are there in a physical body, even if we're a very, you know, distant starseed that have chosen to come down here on earth and be here on the spiritual liberation of this planet, we're still having a physical body. And through our physical body, they are attacking us massively, which over and over and over again takes us into distractions and procrastination and fear-based choices, consciously or subconsciously. Because we, through the distractions and through the procrastination, makes us stay too long in different locations. We to stay too long in relationships. We stay too long uh, in commitment, work commitments. So all of this is changing very, very fast. And um, I just want to really emphasize, you know, the remembrance of our crystal's body that is now being activated on new levels. And for you that have been following me and been with me on many different works, you know how much I emphasize the seven spirits of Christ that we keep going on and on and on about. Because those virtues, those qualities is our natural state, which means our natural state is to be pure, having pure thoughts about ourselves, about others, about life on earth, right? And our natural true state is to be patient and, you know, letting go and surrendering and not controlling and really letting go so that true state of patience is our natural state that they are all the time attacking so we lose patience right and in the same way it's our natural state to be kind kind to ourselves and kind to all people you know even the controllers and also it's our natural state to be generous generous towards herself and everyone else and not being in fear of not having enough right in any time and in the same way also natural state is to be disciplined spiritual discipline is our natural state but what are they doing they're controlling us distracting us procrastinating in us creating all these stories in our field that makes us not being in our spiritual discipline every day and in the same way, our natural state is to be diligent. We are diligent star seeds here on earth. Like that's our natural state, not being lazy, not being tired, not procrastinating, all of those things. 
and also humility. We're humble beings in our essence. So that is why the dragons, the dragon energy are coming in stronger than ever. So as all of this is happening, they're streaming. Like if we could see how much they stream into our field, we will be, you know, it's a mir miracle that we are still being able to keep awakening and keep remembering all the time. The, the spiritual warfare is m stronger and more intense than ever. Yes, we are many, we're a billion of people awakened. So we are activating and assisting the electromagnetic field to keep awakening and rising its frequency, right? And our frequency is really so vibrating so fast now because we are raising our own frequency we're going higher and higher and higher so they cannot really get to us but still they get to us because why we get information so many of us we're sitting in meditation i get so much clarity and then i get out of the meditation i'll go out in the world and they stream it into me, which makes me distracted, which make me procrastinating, which make me stay a little bit longer in my comfort zone and not move to where I'm getting information to move and not doing what I get information to do, right? So of course we have chosen this. It's not like, okay, oh, I'm a victim. We have chosen to have this experience because this, earth school is really something that will assist us in our next incarnation and in our next incarnation and next incarnation so what we are learning here to be in this dense planet on this dense planet and still pushing through the awakening the clarity the remembrance through the amnesia that's a huge teaching for all the coming incarnation all our coming missions but we need to become aware of this and that's also why the dragons are stepping in massively and it's the same thing with dragons right if you ha would have asked me 10 years ago in my ascension journey uh, maybe not 10 years but 15 years ago talking about dragons i would be like okay what dragons that's something for the children right and as the years comes, we start to resonate with this more and more as it goes through our energy bodies, right? It comes into the spiritual energy body, we connect to the dragons and then into the mental and then into the emotional. And eventually we really start to remember our own inner dragon, our incarnations as dragons. And then we start to really feel, see, sense the dragons. We have so many different dragons on earth right now that are assisting with different things. So, and dragons are showing up. I will, I will share a picture later on on my Facebook that I took the other day. There was this rainbow color on, on, on the sky out of nowhere, just like a spot with a rainbow uh, energy. And that's how also the dragons appear they just appear with this incredible light that also the asleep ones can see and they look up in the sky and they see this incredible formation and that moment they receive the codes from the rainbow dragons right so we have this powerful cosmic mother rainbow dragons that are here to balance the energies on earth so right now i think many of you are experiencing that any wounded aspects of our feminine is rising and this is it doesn't matter what gender you are but we need to actually raise the solar feminine energy within us to really move into even stronger divine union and hero gamic energy within ourselves so because this separated right the feminine from the masculine into just two pieces but we are working in the three energy of the feminine the masculine and the entity that becomes when they come together which is crystal sophia right so we still have wounded feminine aspects within us because if we would have a full solar feminine energy activated within us we would be in a 
completely state of manifestation all the time because then we know that we can receive and that we can attract all that we are aiming to attract. So the, the solar feminine energy, which the cosmic mother rainbow dragons at this moment are assisting in activating within us, is all about this softness and incredible intuitive way of living and being able to attract and really receive what is for me that is in alignment and frequency of my energy. So, so the, the Cosmic Mother Rainbow Dragons are really here and their primary work here is to create this balance on the electromagnetic field, uh, but also they're protecting the 13th Stargate, which is in the Middle East. And we know what is going on in the Middle East right now. There's a massive clearing of the Draconians, of the Reptilians, of the Luciferians and all of that. So that's why the rainbow dragons are so like really here and assisting right now. Because what is happening in the Middle East Stargate is affecting all of our lives right now. Then we have the, Chris, the, Christos, the cosmic Christos dragons. They are really here, like they protect the entire galaxy, our galaxy. They are like this energetic network that are protecting any harmful, controlling and manipulating energy that tries to get into Earth. So, I mean, we have very strong outer galactic and cosmic energies that wants to interfere and manipulate us here, humanity and Earth. So the, the Cosmic Crystals Dragons, they are primarily like this incredible network. That's again why we see so many dragons feel sense and just have this inner knowing that the dragons are here. So they are this incredible network and so many of these Cosmic Crystals Dragons are coming in to really protect Earth from an more manipulating energies because we don't need any more. And then we have the solar dragons, the golden solar crystals dragons that almost comes through all the activations I'm doing here live. And they are protecting all stargates on Earth. So their primary work is to protect all these stargates on Earth. And each stargate is an opening to a dimension. And of course, through those dimensions, we're clearing all the timelines. So these golden solar dragons are incredibly important because they are all around us through the connection with each stargate. They're also assisting us to clear the timelines that we came here to clear. So they're very, very, very present, present. And the solar dragons, they are coming straight from the God words down to earth, assisting with the ascension and the planetary liberation that is undergoing. And the, the solar golden dragons are so present because they are a pure embodiment of Christ consciousness. Exactly what I talked about in the beginning of this live, is that the Christos dragons, they are this embodiment of the seven spirits of Christ. So they are assisting us any time we don't feel pure. When we are judging ourselves and don't feel pure, they're assisting us every time we don't feel that we have the ability to go into patience and just letting go and surrendering. They're assisting us with really feeling that we are kind, that we are generous being. They're assisting us with moving into more discipline and diligence on our spiritual practices and also to moving into deeper humility. So, and, and the, golden, the golden Christ dragons, the solar dragons, they are this hierogamic gender um, energetic appearance which assists us in activating our hierogamos inside of us, which is the wedding, the, the marriage between ourselves and God. So <clears throat> at this moment, this huge dragon awakening is happening and it's also the year of the dragons, right? So the, the, the golden dragons, the solar dragons are also awakening on deeper levels here on earth through the rainbow dragon breath. And um, the rainbow dragon 
breath is actually activating our emerald heart and our emerald heart is the higher heart that we've been working a lot with so <clears throat> The rainbow dragons comes in with a rainbow breath, activating more of the solar dragon within ourselves, embodiment of the Christ consciousness, activating our emerald heart, which makes us return back into our Christos mission, because we came here to be this embodiment of Christ consciousness and assisting all of those that are too asleep to even remember any of this virtues so this is also why it's so powerful to use the dragons in clearings because in our solar plexus we have the house of ego and that's where the seven spirits of christ are getting stronger and stronger and they are creating this christos temple inside of our solar plexus this solar Christos temple where the seven spirits of Christ are really just infusing our everyday life and we can move into doing our mission with ease grace love light and empowerment right but we still have wounds that we are healing and as soon as a wound is activated in our solar plexus a portal negative portal opens and that's when an imposter spirit can move in and we don't feel pure, we don't feel with it, we can have patience. That's when the distraction and procrastination and fear and self-judgment and all of this comes in. So that is why the, the dragons are so incredibly powerful to use for clearing and also for activation of our Christos body. So that is also why I was called to do the activation, uh, which is... Um, next level dragon clearing so because my guides wanted us to get to know the dragons more and you know how powerful it is when we come together so not not next week but the week after i'm having this huge activation so when we come together we get this incredible empowered field where you will be helped to remember and to get to know the dragons and we all will get assistance to get to know the dragons so from here on we can get more assistance because they are all around us we've been working with the angels and the ascended masters for a long time but this is really the year of the dragons and they are here and they came here and they heard the calling to come down here and assist our planet and our galaxy so Understanding all of this will really, really, really makes us move into the state of much higher clarity, focus, because we need to move into this sharp, focus, alert state. No more sleeping, no more distractions, no more procrastination, no more you know false programming that i am safe if i stay in the country where i was born no 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 the whole planet is ours our whole planet is our home we are safe to move we are safe to explore this planet and many of us are going to be asked to relocate because where we are locating now is not beneficial it's not even safe to stay there so that's why we need to move to new levels of sharp focus alert so when we get and receive a message through our emotion our spiritual body we can take it into our mental energy body and we can take it into our emotional and then into our physical energy body and we take it into manifestation and we do not procrastinate anymore and we do not fear to take the chance and leave so when this is going to be embodied in many of us many of you listening here this is going to be the next change next level of awakening because we're still so streamed in this controllers mindset that no not yet i should not move yet no 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 that is not true when you get the information that's why we want to kind of meet the dragons we need more clarity more focus less distraction and 
plug out, plug out, plug out and just go out there and explore because we came here also to explore Earth and make this an exploration, a journey of really just this beautiful planet, an exploration of this beautiful planet. And I mean, all of us awaken, we are these explorers. We want to explore the world. We want to see different places, different energies, different cultures. We're here to like absorb all of that into us so we can like emanate it out to the rest of the planet. When we stop to fear, uh, like when the fear can be eliminated now in our field and we start to like really travel around this planet, that's when we're going to see a lot of change, a lot of change. And we have so many codes to retrieve on different places on earth that that will make us thrive. We will be so alive, so much passion, so much life force will come back and such a strong connection to Mother Earth and all the timelines we have had here on Earth. So we will be able to retrieve all these gifts and codes and all of this. That really next level of the ascension will happen. So let's breathe together and see what wants to come through. Hmm. Noruna sana arana kuro to ishiata na kiata arana kuro soshona arana tiata arana ya kiata arana kuro to soshiana arana kiata tana arana tia shata arana kuro to ya shana arana kiata arana ku ya shata arana tiata arana. Take a couple of breaths. Move into your heart. Let go of the mind. Breathe and just activate your ability to move into center. Connect to your higher self, connect to your essence, to your blueprint, your incredible, unique structure, your unique God structure. Feel and sense that beyond the human self, you are this incredible blueprint structure that is requested on earth at this moment. Kuruna sashana rana kurososhiya. Take a couple of breaths and we ask for full protection and connection by the eternal living light code of God. Closing all negative portals, asking only for what is in the highest divine order for each and every one to come in and come through. Activating Christos Aegis breastplate for protection. Ka-ra-ya-sa-ta-a-la. And breathe, okay. As you're breathing, there's so many dragons coming in. So these beautiful emerald dragons comes in. You might see them, otherwise you can visualize them if it resonates with you. And they actually start to, to push out their breath into your body. So this emerald breath, is coming through the green emerald dragons. This is like the earthly dragons working really on this um, earthly levels of frequencies. And in this moment, they're actually moving down to the soles of your feet and they are like really blowing their breath, this emerald breath into the soles, the bottom of your feet you can feel sense this emerald ray energy moving from the soles of your feet up through your calves and your thighs your hips your upper body your throat your face emanating out your entire light body and auric field so these emerald dragons are creating this emerald ray field. So you are in this emerald bubble right now. And they're like working from Mother Earth's wish to create this incredible, beautiful emerald state of being here on Earth. The rainbow dragons are stepping in and they're starting to blow this rainbow breath into your first heart chakra and then the higher heart chakra on thymus, breathing and connecting the heart chakra with your thymus higher heart chakra. 
rsashinar na kashia what they are streaming in now is safety so as the rainbow shield is emanating out this rainbow shield that's really protecting right now your entire auric field from any manipulating energies in this here and now from any harmful energies in this here and now you can breathe with the emerald energy and the rainbow dragons and they're assisting you to feel safe relax your nervous system relax your physical body keep relaxing keep saying to say to yourself i'm safe and now the golden dragons come in and they start to like really almost tap energetically on your third eye tapping tapping opening your intuition so as the emerald dragons hold this space for you the rainbow dragons are creating safety and now the solar dragons are opening your third eye and they just really want you to see where you're headed right now they're just opening your ability to see or just have an inner sense of where you're heading this is where you need to go trust what is coming through in the most simple way trust we are opening a window 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 for you to see this is where you need to go something like a next step is being revealed for you trust what is being shown and if you want to see the, the solar dragons are giving this golden egg here in your third eye so you can keep seeing this without distractions beautiful the solar dragons are also placing a lot of golden eggs in your blueprint in your in your structure to assist more clarity less distraction and less procrastination beautiful breathe this in allow this to be recorded and we ask to seal all of this work thank you thank you thank you so be it so be it so be it it is done breathe and come back beautiful Thank you, beloveds. If you missed the beginning, you can always return back to it. I will put the link to the next level dragon clearing and you can connect to the work already and you will see how the dragons just comes in more and more. It is so powerful when we come together and I can't wait for that. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for walking the path together with the rest of us that came here to assist this planet that was asleep, that was really fully hijacked, it was a prison planet before we came here, but now the liberation started and um, things will change and we do trust and we do know. I love you all so much, so many blessings. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful ones. Thank you for your comments. I'm seeing them. <laughs>